Ford now bend the well to the 160 pound weight class. We're getting a little bigger. We're getting a little heavier and a little more muscle. Travis Morin of Plainville going up against Chad Johnson of Minneapolis. Morin comes into the match unbeaten, 24-0 on the year. In the meantime, Johnson comes in with a record of 21-4. Here in the championship at 160 pounds for the 3-2-1-A. We now have a six-point margin for the team championship through 152 pounds. Hoxie with 116 points. Phillipsburg is second with 120. Morin in the maroon uniform. Boy, I tell you, Chad Johnson comes in quickly, gets deep penetration, and scores two on the takedown, and they fly out of bounds. Almost out on the gym floor. It's a two-point lead now for Chad Johnson of Minneapolis. And on the whistle. Morin stands up, turns in, faces Johnson, and once again they go out of bounds. And Morin... He's still down and fails two to zero. Chad Johnson of Minneapolis pretty aggressive then. A lot of horsepower in this one. A couple of big boys and going tough. Morin stands up and quickly gets the escape. It's two to one. Morin crowds his opponent. Chad Johnson right over the edge of the mat inside the duck under. Morn in the maroon uniform. Now Johnson makes a good move in. They go out of bounds. Morin won the semifinal match at the 3 2 and one 8 tournament over LaBelle. Shane LaBelle of Douglas, 13 to 6, while Johnson won 4 to 1 over Mark Schieferick from Hoxie. Morin with a good penetration try. Sales, 2 to 1, now comes in deep. Gets in on the single. Johnson is able to counter out. Morin trying for the fireman's carry. Down head on has the arm locked up tight. And Johnson runs around behind, but it won't count as they go out of bounds. Again, Johnson beats Keeprick of Hoxie in the semifinals. Morin beat Lavelle of Douglas in the semifinals. A couple of pretty good horses here at 160 pounds. Johnson doing a good job, though, of keeping Morin from getting the inside position, getting in under the arm. Morin's been in deep a couple of times. Now Morin trying to come in for a fireman's carry, and Johnson counters. Morin initiated the move, Johnson counters, and now Morin fails 4-1. Well, you can kind of tell Johnson's been around the mat a time or two himself. They go off the edge of the mat and walk back to the center. Johnson of Minneapolis leading 4-1 to here. A lot of adrenaline flowing out here for these two young wrestlers. Morin stands up and turns in. Johnson trips him out of bounds. Johnson coming back to the mat. Feeling pretty good, Ben, you can tell looking at him. A couple of muscular thing, seniors wrestling here. Now, time is expiring in the first period, and Morin is sitting down, sticking it over. He trails 4-1. to one. He takes a look at his coach, Brad Fredrickson. Morin. Looks back over at Fredrickson and wants to say, what do I do? Boy, a heavy trip to the mat for Morin. Johnson on his stomach, has a 4-1 to lead. Morin trying now for the cross trap. The Cherokee ride, he's got it hooked up. Morin trying to get elevation, just couldn't get the angle. Johnson stands up and Morin powers him back to the mat. Morin on the top side, 
trails, four to one. Second period of wrestling. One minute and 18 seconds to go, and now Morin loses. Johnson on the edge of the mat, and Morin trails five to one. Brad Fredrickson over to shout instructions and the, the plane bills Morin. Jeff Giles does the same thing for his man, Johnson. Hey, that Johnson's pretty muscular. He is. You know, we talked about that earlier in the tournament. He's a lot stronger than he looks. What a chesty wrestler. Johnson with a 5-1 to one lead. Morin gets in deep. Comes around and finally scores a takedown. His first takedown of the, of the match here with 55 seconds remaining. It's 5-3 now on the scoreboard. Morin gets a tip going on Johnson. And the referee shakes his head and says, you don't have him over far enough to score points. Johnson looks like he's turning in, Ben. Johnson coasting on the bottom now, and he's been warned for stalling. The referee hits the man and says, start wrestling on the bottom. You have a five to three lead, but you still have to wrestle. Morin once again trying for the tilt. He can get enough leverage to put Johnson up on his shoulders. The time will run out here in the second period, and it's a little bit closer as Morin trails only five to three. Morin looks over at Brad Fredrickson, his coach, and Fredrickson said, you take the down position. It's going to be a great final two minutes, Ben, I do believe. A couple of tired wrestlers, they've really struggled. And on the whistle, Morin comes up standing, and Johnson able to come up with the move, gets the elevation, and trips Morin out of bounds. Both wrestlers a little bit tired as they walk to the center of the mat. Down goes Morin, top position Johnson. Morin, a set out turn in, faces Johnson this time instead of trying for the reversal. He goes for the escape, has scored another point, and it is five to four. Morin trailing in the maroon uniform. Off the edge of the mat, right here in front of us, Ben. Johnson had a little move going that time. Yes, he did. He got in deep on Morin. Johnson gets pretty good penetration. Morin sweeps back in. Gets good penetration for the single. Looking for the tip. Trying to take his opponent to the mat and comes around behind. Still no point. And now Morin scores the takedown. And he's out in front, six to five and gets a tilt going on Johnson. One minute and 10 seconds remaining. We'll just have to say that it was a slow start for Travis Morin, but now we know why he has not yet been defeated this season. And Johnson appears to have run out of gas, Ben. And this time Morin is able to coast a little bit. He has a 9-5 to five lead, and they ditch it, as we say, as they go out of bounds. Four. 40, 44 seconds to Rich remaining in the contest. Johnson had to get that knee brace up there to where it belongs. I'll tell you, Johnson needs a reversal, and then he's going to have to put Morin on his back. You can see the clock. It's 9-5 to five on the scoreboard. Once again, Morin getting a pit move on Johnson. Johnson's getting tired. Morin won't be able to pin him, but he scored. Two more points, or was it three? Three more points. I'll tell you what, Johnson just ran out of gas, Ben. He also did not know how to, to handle the Cherokee tip. Travis Morin, undefeated, champion at 160 pounds.
Sturt at 12 to 5. Travis Morin of Plainville. Travis Morin of Plainville wins it by a score of 12 to 5. And really, Morin started a little slow, but really came on, didn't he, Ben? He really did. You know, it was just a matter of time, I guess, for him. Uh, you know, we didn't know that, but he did. It was just a matter of time before he got his moves going in the match. Brad Fredrickson over to congratulate his wrestler at 160. 152-pound fourth-place finisher, 